Welcome to the channel. This is the fifth video in a series that I'm doing on WebEx calling. And today we're going to talk about internal and external dialing. Now with external dialing, that's pretty straightforward. This is where you're in an office and you want to get an outside line because maybe the person that you're calling is not within your organization. So here in the US, uh, we usually dial nine and then the number. To configure this in Control Hub, that's pretty straightforward, that's pretty simple. But with internal dialing, dialing a user within your organization, now that can be very simple, but on the other hand, it can also be much more complex. It just kind of depends on how you've configured Control Hub. Now, the simple part is that if you have only one location, you can just dial the user's extension and there's no other configuration needed. However, in a previous video, remember we set up a location for Seattle in the US and one for Tokyo in Japan. So because we have two locations in two separate countries, we need to set up some internal dialing rules. So what we're gonna do is set up a location prefix that users need to dial when they want to call from Seattle to Tokyo, and of course, one for calling from Tokyo to Seattle. Now to set this up, the first thing you'll need to consider is how many digits do you want your location prefix to be? It can be two or three or four, whatever fits your needs. For our purposes, however, we're gonna set it to four digits. And the reason for this is because our location prefix is actually gonna be made up of two parts. The first part is just a single digit and that's gonna serve as a steering digit. And then the second part is gonna be a three digit location number. So altogether, that's our location prefix. So for the steering digit, we're gonna assign the number seven. And you can think of this kind of like when we dial nine to get an outside line, except in this case, whenever we dial seven, this indicates that we're dialing a different location, but still within our organization. So then the second part, the location number, this is gonna be the country code. The country code for Japan is 081, so altogether the location prefix will be 7081 and the location prefix for the US will be 7001, of course, because the country code for the US is 001. And then we have one more configuration, which is the internal digit length. We'll set that to four digits as well, because for our organization, we've already established that everyone's extension is gonna be four digits, you know, regardless of where they're located. So let's say we're Wade Wilson in Seattle, and we wanna call James Howlett, who is in Japan at extension 1004. In this case, he'd need to dial 70811004. Going the other way, if you're James Hallett in Japan and want to call Wade Wilson in the US, you dial 70011003. Okay, now let's see how to configure all of this in Control Hub. I'm all logged in here and we're gonna start with our external dialing configuration. Now for that, I'll come over here to locations and then click on the Seattle location. Then we'll click on the calling tab then scroll down and select external dialing. Then up here for the outbound dial digit, we're gonna select from the drop down. we'll select nine. So users in Seattle will have to dial nine to get an outside line. We'll click save and we're all set. Now real quick, let's do the same for Tokyo. We'll select locations, then Tokyo, then the calling tab. We'll select external dialing. Then we'll select nine as our outbound digit and click save. And we're all set. So the external dialing is all configured. It's all done super easy, very straightforward. Now we can configure our internal dialing. So let's start by going to services and calling and we'll click on the service settings tab. And here we can see our settings for the location routing prefix, the steering digit and the internal extension length. So we'll click edit and then continue. And remember we set our location routing prefix would be four digits. Then here we're gonna set the number seven to serve as the steering digit. And then our internal extension length is gonna be four digits as well. We'll click save. And then uh, before we move on, uh, we just wanna double check to make sure that the call routing between WebEx and premises is set to standard behavior and it is, so we're all good to go here. Great, so next we wanna go back to locations. We'll click Seattle first, and then click the calling tab. Then scroll down, and this time select internal dialing. 
And then under the routing prefix, we want to enter the number that a user should dial when they're calling Seattle. So we know that's gonna be 7001. Again, seven is a steering digit and 001 is the country code for the US. And we'll click save. Then we'll do the same thing for Tokyo. We'll go back to locations and then we'll select Tokyo, then the calling tab, then internal dialing, and then here we want to say 7081, of course, 081 is Japan's country code. Okay, that's all the configuration we need to do in Control Hub. So remember from a previous video, we set up a Seattle location with Stephen Rogers, Peter Parker, and Wade Wilson, extensions 1001, 1002, and 1003 respectively. So based on the way that this is set up, when Peter Parker wants to call Wade Wilson, for example, they're both in Seattle, remember, uh, he only needs to dial Wade's four-digit extension. So let's do a test call. Let's make sure that works. I'm logged in over here as Wade Wilson on the left and Peter Parker on the right. Peter Parker is going to dial Wade Wilson at 1003. Wade Wilson is going to answer. This says, uh, can't see the camera. Uh, that's fine, uh, we'll say okay. And then the call connects just as expected. Okay, now remember we also have James Howlett and he's in Tokyo, so if he wants to call Wade Wilson in Seattle, he can't just dial Wade's four digit extension, he's gotta dial the location prefix and then Wade's four digit extension, 1003. So let's do a test call for that as well. First, James is going to dial the prefix 7001, then Wade's extension 1003. Then I'll answer James's call. Uh, then there's the same notice about the video. We'll say OK. And then the call connects just as expected. All right, we're going to start registering some WebEx calling devices in the next video. I hope to see you there.